Peace, shalom family Bo Disciple TV here A Little reparations talk How y'all doing today? A little reparations talk Now As you see right now We have reparations hearings going on In our country To see if us black folks Can get some money For all the free labor That has established, built, and has benefited certain um, immigrant immigrant groups that came to this country with the intentions on um, prospering off of our free labor. Now, one interesting thing as you see this go on, because it's been brought up within the political political arena, Reparations. You've seen the new candidates come out, and a couple of them were talking reparations. Hmm. Yeah, reparations uh, get our attention. You know that. Get our eyes on them as a candidate. Then you've seen it kind of shift off a little bit, and it went from you know getting us reparations to conducting a study, conducting a study on reparations. Uh, first went from um, getting us excuse me the reparations that we need and that we um, fairly fail, fail, deserve into well, now we're going to do a study on reparations and now you're seeing that people have taken a um, have taken an approach now black people are like no we're going to we're going to bring this issue back up you know, before the Senate, before um, Congress, um, before, you know, the powers that be, because we need reparations, which I agree. We have some black people that actually feel like we don't need reparations, but I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican, um, black people deserve reparations. Um, it's not a hand me down, it's not a handout or anything like that. We deserve reparations, point blank, period. And I want you guys to just, um, throughout this process, keep an eye, keep an eye on the flow of this, the flow of this subject, the flow of this issue as we deal with, um, the election that's coming up. Because, you know, a lot of times, I'm going to be honest with you, they like to play with black people. They like to play with us. You know, they like to play a lot of games with us. So... You have to keep your eye on this and see how the powers that be kind of play uh, towards our emotions and our um, feelings because they understand that we're a highly emotional people. And if they can keep this issue in the forefront until somebody gets elected, they're going to do it. Because, see, one thing that we still don't understand as a people is that our vote is the strongest vote in the entire country. Our vote is the the strongest vote in the entire country, and we still don't understand how to use that to our benefit. They still playing with us when we have the power. And y'all just don't understand that. You know, um, (laughs) and I'm not even going to go off into that. That's another video. That's a previous video that I did, so you can always go back and look at that, but... We, we just don't get it. And if they got to come and do a whole bit on reparations and how they're going to do this and that for us, they're going to do it. They're going to entertain it. They're going to bring it to the exact forefront. Lights, camera, action, because they need our vote, regardless of what side it is. And they know that reparations, man, reparations is a hot topic, just like um, the Equal Opportunity Act. Uh, just, you know, it was a hot topic then. Reparations will always be a hot topic until we, you know, are compensated. And I think it, it will happen. Do I think it'll happen in like my lifetime? I think it'll happen towards the end. If it happens sooner, that'll be great. But you guys need to peep out the flow of this and see if this is still the same energy is still being devoted to reparation talk after the people have got into office. That's the important thing, guys, to see if these people still have that same energy. 
even black people, we still have that same energy as far as reparations is concerned after the 2020 election. I think a lot of you are going to see some things that you're just going to realize, hey, bold disciple, you know, Brother Will Iverson was right. These the politicians, they don't care nothing about black people. They will play all the games in the world with you. And we're going to see what happens. So just keep your eyes open, guys. This ain't no video, you know, to um, break down reparations, the history, and, you know, what it means and what percentage everybody will get in the United States of America once, you know, it happens. It's just to let you know that just keep your eyes on these politicians, man, and know that if we really wanted to, we could turn things around within the snap of a finger. Once we get tired of being used by the politicians, especially by the Democrats, because black people get used by the Democrats, I mean, every year. I mean, it's at the point now where Democrats don't even have to exert a lot of energy. All They know what they got to do is just get a stage, a band, a DJ, or a famous singer, or something like that, and you already hooked. So let's just pay attention to the to this reparations deal, guys, all right? All right, like, share, subscribe. Um, hit me up on my other platforms, um, Instagram, YouTube, Bold Disciple, uh, Will Iverson Jr. on YouTube. All right, peace.